everyone so I've just decided that I would film a really quick video I've been sat around doing my dissertation work all morning bored out of my mind and I'm going out a bit later today so I thought I may as well film myself put my makeup on so you can learn absolutely nothing from it because I'm really not very good at makeup so I'm just going to start off by putting some lip salve on I always have dry lips. The only product that really works for me is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. Um, I know lots of people use it and it's just amazing and it's amazing for so many things, for any dry skin at all, but I use it on my lips all the time. I absolutely love it. And now I'm just going to moisturise my skin. I'm using this moisturiser from Cordially. Um, this is the, actually the third, well I've nearly run out of this one, I'm about to start my third tube of this. Um, so I really, really, really like it. It's really um, thick, but it doesn't. It still soaks in really nicely. You know, it's not sticky or anything like that. But it, it's really good if you've got slightly dry skin. So I really like this. Hence why I'm onto my third one. I keep repurchasing it. It's very lovely indeed. Now that that is all soaked in and I'm nicely moisturised, I'm going to move on to my base. I'm using the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat foundation. Um, I really like this. This was in my most recent haul video as well. It's a really nice foundation. It's a really good sheer coverage as well. And I really like the smell, which I think is a bit weird. But it smells really, really, really nice. Um, so yes, I'm just using a buffing brush to buff this into my skin. So once I have really, really woof, buff, woof that in, buffed that into the skin, woofed was a combination of worked and buffed, woofed it in. Next up, I'm going to do my brows. This is my least favourite part of doing my makeup. I think it's boring, really boring. Um, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Brow Lift Pencil and I'm just going to start off by combing through our eyebrows just to get all my hairs going the same way. <laughs> no one wants an unruly brow. And then using the pencil and just sort of drawing a line along the bottom of my eyebrow and I'm not really filling it in too much at the inner section here, mostly concentrating on the tail of it and um, the middle section. My eyebrows are naturally quite flat and I don't really try and change that too much. And then using the spoolie, the little brush end, I just use that to comb the product through and move it through and it makes it much more natural, I find anyway. It also makes a bit of a mess so just use your finger to clean that up. Hello oh, Neville, Neville's just jumped to my bed. Neville and trying to make them reasonably even but not identical sisters not twins mine are definitely kind of more cousins most of the time if relatives at all are they even they'll do now I'm just going to put some brow gel on them so that they stay in the place this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills tinted brow gel and whenever I use it, I always kind of like brush, scrape the brush along the top of the little bottle because you get too much product on there most of the time and it kind of then looks a little bit shiny. I think eyebrows don't desperately look great shiny. So I'm just lightly combing that through. Et voila! Eyebrows done. Next, I... Mm, what am I going to do next? Next I'm going to do my eye makeup, I think. This is called the Showstopper Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I've got no idea if this is still available, if this is old, um, but I'll link what all the colours are um, below in the description box. So quite often with MAC you can still buy the, the separate colours on their own anyway. So it's really nice, it's kind of like shimmery, pinky, brownie, neutrally, lots of words like that all together which I like. So I'm just going to use this today, it's the first time I've used it so I have no idea what I'm going to be doing with it. So I'm going to start off with the um, light colour, the lightest colour which is called Oh My Darling I think. Oh my, if, it, if it reads left to right then it's called Oh My Darling. It's just a kind of neutrally one. I'm just putting this on my finger 
and then I'm patting this all onto my eyelid or as I just did then more like on my eyelashes which is optional I'm going to take this kind of shimmery pinky colour which is Jest I think and kind of put that also on the lid and through the crease a little bit oh this is a nice colour it's not as pinky as it looks in the pan so I'm just going to kind of build that up a bit and using a windscreen wiper motion and then blend it upwards towards my eyebrow also I ended up with that all over the lid which started off as accidentally and then I just carried on so that it would look more deliberate so now I'm going to have to put something else through the crease so I'm going to use um, one of the colours from my Charlotte Tilbury the Sophisticate palette palette even um, I'm going to take the colour Enhance which is like a mushroomy taupey kind of colour and I'm going to put that through my crease instead and blend it into the pinky colour and once I've done that I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush to blend that together a bit more and um, this is a big fluffy one from Clinique and it's really good because it is very big indeed and makes things very quick lovely I was sticking with the Charlotte Tilbury palette I'm going to sort of mix together the two, the brown and the charcoal grey colour they're called pop and smoke mix them together and put that in kind of the outer crease the outer half of the crease And then again, I'm just going to keep using this big Clinique fluffy brush to keep blending everything through. One eye always goes so much better than the other. Even more so when I'm doing eyeliner. So now I've done my eyeshadow, I'm going to move on to the dreaded eyeliner. I am using the Charlotte Tilbury, the Feline Flick, which is one of the pen ones, pen eyeliner. I find these much easier than any other ones that I've used, definitely. Um, a little bit easier to get a half decent little flick. I don't want to do a really heavy flick because my eyeshadow is relatively heavy for me anyway so I'm going to keep it quite as thin as I can but thin is hard so I'm going to start off by just drawing a thin line over my lid and then we're going to come back to the flick section so here we go <laughs> So once I've done that part and it's relatively even, I'm now going to attempt to do the flick bit. Um, as I said, I don't want it to be too much, I don't really want it to be too long or too thick or anything. So I'm going to try and start as small as possible because then when I make a mistake, I have the room to correct the mistake where it always gets thicker and longer and bigger and darker and worse. So start small is the tip and then you've got a little bit of room for manoeuvre. It's gone all right. This first one's kind of gone, it's gone quite well, hasn't it? It looks all right. So now the pressure's on even more for this side because I don't want to have to change this one. I think that's even. Is it even? Ish. And that's pretty good effort. Yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. So now that I have done that without any disastrous results, I am going to move on to my concealer. For this, I'm using the NARS Radiant Cream Concealer. I very much like this. It's really good coverage, so if you've got any spots as well, it's really good for that. So I'm just going to put a little bit under my eye um, and just around my nose, which is where I get most of my redness and blemishes as well.
then I'm just going to use my finger to pat that out. I always find that this kind of makes it work on your skin much better than using a brush to blend does. And that bit's done. Now that I've done that, I'm just going to put a little bit of eyeshadow under my lower lash line. I'm going to use the colour that I used in my crease from the Charlotte Tilbury palette, that mushroomy kind of one. I'm just using a, like a small flat brush. This is just the brush that comes from the Naked palettes. I'm just going to take that under all of my lower lash line. And then for the final thing for the eyes, I'm just going to put some mascara on. Um, I always start off by curling my eyelashes. Well, I'm not going to be able to do that without a mirror. That was very over ambitious. Then for mascara, um, for mascara I'm using this one. Um, it's by a brand called Me, M-I-I. -I. It's called Show Stopping Lash Lover. This is just one that I picked up from my local beauticians because um, I've run out so I just nipped there to get some and it's so good really really good I'd never heard of the brand before or anything um, and I had just got it as a last minute fix really and I absolutely love it it's so good I'm just going to put quite a lot of that on I personally like to have my eyelashes a little bit clumpy and a little bit spider like and there we go that is my eye makeup done I'm quite pleased with how that's turned out I think it looks quite that's all right so now I'm just going to do the finishing touches to my face just some bronzer and blusher and a bit of highlight and pen setting it things like that I'm going to start off by putting a little bit of a finishing powder on this is one of the hourglass ambient lighting powders in diffused light I feel like I'm using this wrong because everybody raves about it so much and it is really good but I think I must be using it wrong because it isn't as quite as amazing as everybody says I just sort of dust it over the high points of my face as it were um, next is some bronzer this one is by Kevin O'Coin is that how you say his name it's a really nice um, bronzer I, I think it's quite good for pale people like me because it's more ashy than orangey um, and because it's got a gradient you can sort of focus your brush on the top half of it and make sure that you're not getting too much of a dark product so I'm just going to sweep this using a big fluffy brush because I don't want anything too defined I'm just going to sweep this under my cheekbones and round the edges of my face now just for a little bit of colour in my cheeks I am going to use my Estee Lauder um, blusher this is in Peach Passion it's a nice shimmery one and um, again suits pale skin I'm just kind of put, focusing that on the apple of my cheeks and then pulling it back a little bit but mostly focusing the colour onto the apple of my cheeks. And then for the absolute final touch I'm just going to put a tiny bit of highlighter onto the top of my cheekbones, uh, down the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow. I'm again using one by Kevin O'Coin. I really don't know how to say that. This is from um, one of his little palettes, the little contour and highlight palette. And it's really, really nice. The highlighter is really good. And this was only like £18 or something. Considerably cheaper than his other products, but really, really good. So again, I'm just going to use my finger for this and sort of tap this onto the top of my cheekbones. It's quite a good shimmery one because it's not... Um, sorry it's a good highlight because it's not shimmery it's not got loads of glitter in it it's just gives you more of like a dewy glow rather than being overly shimmery overly shiny anything like that i think it's much more natural so it's definitely good for day-to-day -day makeup as well so that is my face completely done i just need to put something on my lips um, and I'm going to use this lip liner. This is by Smashbox. It's in the colour Nude Medium. And I'm just going to line my lips with this and then fill them in a little bit as well. So this is my finished makeup look. Um, I won't do much, much in my hair because I never do. I'll probably just put a bit of hairspray in it and try and give it a little bit more oomph than it has. Um, but yeah, this 